Hey everyone, Brian here with MedKitAuthority.com. Got a quick video on what you can use if you don't have a fingertip bandage ready. So if you're to get a get a cut or something at the tip of your finger, it's kind of hard to, to bandage it up, especially with a typical Band-Aid. <clears throat> Ideally what you could use is this kind of butterfly shaped one. And that gives you really good coverage of a cut on your fingertip. If you don't have one of those on hand, what you can do is you can use your typical strip bandage. I have three quarter inch by three inch here. Um, a little bit bigger is probably gonna make this easier, honestly, but um, we'll see what I can do with, with this size. So what you do is once you um, have washed your hands, make sure your hands have been washed with soap and water and are clean. You wanna do the same thing with, with the cut to uh, ensure there's no chance of infection. <clears throat> you can take the bandage out of the package. And then what we're gonna do with the backing still on, you wanna grab a pair of scissors and what you can do is you can cut up on either end and we wanna get pretty close to the um, to the dressing as possible, but you do want to save a little bit of room um, between the edge of the dressing and the cut that you're making. So, so you can see there, it's pretty, pretty close. Do the same thing to the other side. So now we have four kind of separate legs. Um, <clears throat> next thing that you'll want to do, you can take the backing off one side. Um, if you have Neosporin, if you, if you want to use something like that, you can apply it now. I like to apply it to the, the uh, dressing itself. Some people like to apply it to their, their wound directly. I don't know that it matters that much, but you can do either one. <clears throat> then what you'll do is I usually take the side with the backing and it's just easier for me to kind of put it on on the outside um, like this and then the first one's kind of the trickiest so what you want to do is you kind of want to get it at about a 45 degree angle I like to keep it above the knuckle line so let's get this a little further up and then kind of doing something like that you can always adjust it a little bit afterwards then what we're going to do is take the other side, kind of go at a 45 degree here, keep it above the knuckle line there. I'm not pressing down very hard in case I want to adjust these. <clears throat> but now you can take the backing off the other side and do the same thing. Take one leg, bring it across at like a 45 degree angle. Probably hard for you to see right now, bringing it across that way. I want to do the same thing with this other side. That's a little hard. Something like that. So it's looking pretty good. You can kind of pull hard, a little harder on this one. And I think it works best if, if the adhesive bandage is on top of each other, it kind of sticks well. And then you kind of want to, let's see, pull that over a little. Push it all down and get it flat. Um, so that's pretty good. It's above the knuckle, so I can still bend my finger fine. Um, it's obviously not perfect, but you do have adhesive all the way around um, to keep dirt out. You know, if you have another bandage, you might want to just, or even a medical tape, go around it once just to kind of cover up these spots here to keep dirt and bacteria out. But um, it beats just trying to wrap around a regular bandage and then you kind of get a big funnel in the top here. Um, so this is, this is one way to, to do it if you don't have, like I said, your typical fingertip bandage. Do you have any other thoughts, any other, uh, cool DIY hacks, another way to do this that, um, I didn't describe here? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. Thanks.